I love having Instagram lives. So fun. What's up, guys? We are going to... Oh, hey. Sorry, Facebook. All right. So we're live. We're live all over. We're live yeah, in our Philippines group. We're live. Okay. okay. Hi. We are here to talk about... This. We got a cat who insists on walking across all of our keyboards right now. Um, we are here to talk about joints. Um, what are we talking about today? Joints, muscle recovery, and optimal fitness. Amy, what's up, girl? Hey, hey. Um, and I've got Evan here. Had to wait for him to get back from Toastmasters tonight. Yeah. So I've got Evan here, and I feel like he is such the expert to talk about this. For those of you that are meeting Evan for the first time, hey, hey, um, he is a retired professional cage fighter, a black belt in jiu-jitsu, owner of his mixed martial arts gym, Smash Gyms East Bay. He fought professionally Muay Thai for eight years before becoming a professional MMA fighter. And this guy, he's turning 40 this year, like yeah. in two months, turning 40. One month, practically. Yeah, like a month. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like he has the usefulness of most people in their 20s. Like, this guy really has the recovery formula totally down pat. So he's going to share with you his tips and tricks that he's learned over the years. Um, it's definitely something that I think is taking a lot of trial and error in terms of getting it down pat for him. So he's going to be sharing with you. Yeah. And this is my wife, Dr. Melissa, is here. A lot of you guys know her. You guys are maybe on her personal accounts right now she I I met her 11 years ago uh, in a travel abroad program she had not she had not been to chiropractic school yet had not learned about functional medicine but she was highly schooled in nutrition and she gave me even at the beginning a couple of different tips and tricks just drink a lot of water things like that but as she grew in her knowledge and expertise and uh, the human body through chiropractic school and functional medicine, she really is the one who handed me a lot of these tips and tricks that we'll be talking about today about keeping yourself youthful and keeping your muscles and joints healthy. So she says that I'm the source, but really she's I guess the source of the source. Ah, thank you. thank you. Okay, so if you guys have questions about any any issue, any health challenge that deals with the musculoskeletal system, joint stuff, spine stuff, um, you know, aches and pains, you just feel like you don't recover well, and then at the very end, I'm, I am going to talk about like three things you can do for fitness in terms of weight loss, because that's what gets a lot of people excited about fitness, although I'm at a point in my life where I just want to be fit because I don't want to feel bad because if we're not fit, we start to develop more aches and pains. So let's go ahead. Let's get started. Facebook, you guys, Apollo just wanted to be in this live with you. He's going to share his knowledge at the end as well. Okay. So we're going to start out by talking about oils for muscles and joints. Okay. So this would be you if you deal with, you know, uncomfortable hands, if you have, you know, achy stuff going on, like in your neck or in your low back. Um, Hip discomfort, yeah. things like that. So, um, Evan, why don't you talk to him? Oh. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> why don't you talk to them about some of your favorite things that you use to help handle issues once right. they've come up, like any discomfort? For muscles and joints. So, there was a time when I was dry, when we lived in Marin and my gym was in Hayward, but I would drive like 90, an hour to 90 minutes each way every day so it was like two to three hours of driving and so a lot of sitting and then I would drive straight to maybe CrossFit or Jiu Jitsu and so I, I was first of all a lot of sitting so my lower I'm sure there's lower a back. lot of commuters on the call too yeah, yeah. so uh, just sitting for that long they say sitting is like the new smoking so sitting and then on top of the sitting I would go to CrossFit and put I mean like as much weight as I could put on the bar onto my back. Right. And then also in this jitsu, I, I would put people onto my back. And, uh, so all those things, uh, made my back crumble. So when I was going, when, it, uh, so daily for lower back pain, I always use the frankincense. I have it inside my car and people in there, I will, people have different things in their cup holders. In me, I, in mine, I <laughs> have, frankincense. I have frankincense. Uh, and, and deep blue. So the, the combo of the two, the frankincense is really good for, um, increasing blood flow. 
So that's why it's good to layer on for any other oil that you put. And then I have one of these, the deep blue rub, uh, in my cup holder every day. And, and it's, it's easy Definitely to share. Definitely travels like well. Don't you worry. Travels well. It's hard to ha let the sun mess up either of these as long as, um, you know, as long as you keep it in a shaded part of your car, you'll be okay. Um, the beauty of this, you guys, is that it's not just masking the discomfort. You have actual natural plant remedies that are going in and supporting the body and doing what it is meant to do, which is come back to a state of balance. So your body is really meant to be able to, to, um, I'm trying to say this really compliantly, to knit damaged tissue back together. So I'm going to share with you the nerdy part of, um, what do you want? I was no, going to share with you the nerdy part of, um, frankincense and deep blue and why they work really well together yeah, just quickly. I actually would like oh, to use some right now because I'm having some shoulder pain from sitting okay. at the okay. computer. So you don't have to be an athlete to experience discomfort and injuries, right? Like I was sitting at the computer today and I'm getting lots of discomfort right in here in my trapezius. So I'm rubbing that in right now. The beauty of the deep blue, you guys, is it takes away this discomfort so quickly because there's peppermint oil in there. It's one of the things that you smell initially when you're inhaling that deep blue. The peppermint helps to relax the muscle. It also gives a nice cooling sensation. Then there's natural anti, uh, there's natural analgesic. I can't, I'm just going to say it, anti-pain. There's some anti-pain properties in here in wintergreen essential oil, also in camphor essential oil. Those properties are made synthetically and put in over-the-counter pain medications. So you can actually just apply this stuff topically and not have to worry about doing damage to your digestive tract. To the over hey! <laughs> With overwhelming your liver. I love that. And then what's so nice about Deep Blue, and this makes it really different than things like Icy Hot or BioFreeze. It's not just, it doesn't just have better oils than those items. This is like pure therapeutic grade oils. This is like a totally different caliber than those products. But there's also something called Helichrysum in here. You guys, Helichrysum essential oil has been known to help, it's actually been studied and shown to help, um, to help activate those tissue healing um, capacity, the tissue healing capacity that your body has. So when there's been damage that's been done, little tiny micro tears, which will happen with sustained sitting like this, or if they've, there have been bigger injuries, like Evan has sustained in jujitsu or in kickboxing, the helichrysum goes in either way. It's going to go in and help support the natural healing capacity of the body. And then there's frankincense, which Evan was mentioning he puts on, you put on top. On top. On top I, put, I put the deep blue first and I put the frankincense after. Right. And so the frankincense, the beauty of it is that it can actually drive the properties of the deep blue in um, a little bit deeper. So we always say you can layer with frankincense, always putting the frankincense right on top of whatever it is that you're putting on topically. Um, and the, the thing about frankincense is it actually helps the body to have a healthy inflammatory response. So what will happen with a lot of us, especially with long-term issues, is we have an overreactive inflammatory response. And over time, while initially that was serving us to heal, over time, like after the, but really if it's like any longer than three or four days, that inflammatory response, if it's overactive, it can actually contribute to the discomfort. It can contribute to the damage. So frankincense helps to kind of squelch that inflammation, and it also supports the body in going in and helping the cells to go in and, and regenerate appropriately. Um, you're going to hear us talking about frankincense a lot, and since we have camera, I can show you guys, like, it's only, what is it, like the 23rd today, and we're almost done with our bottle. Like, we definitely run through this guy every single month. I love okay, it. Right. One, one thing that Melissa mentioned is that the both of these things, they, they travel well. They're in my car. A uh, cup holder all the time, but on top of traveling, uh, well, me, well, me, with mentioning traveling, I'm going to the Philippines on Saturday, which is the 25th, 26th here. I'll be landing in Cebu, and we have a workshop in Cebu on the 27th and 28th at 5 p.m., and then we have the 29th, 30th, and 31st in Manila, in Makati, in the peninsula in Makati. So if any of you guys are there, and Cebu or Makati, please come see us, and and we'll and we'll share. You can experience with you. this stuff firsthand. So I feel like it's great that we can communicate this 
digitally, but you got to get this stuff on your body. And we're, Evan's going to be having those products available for people to actually be experiencing. And like right now, even just applying that deep blue, like mm-hmm. I feel it immediately. Yeah. Um, and so also if you're somebody that deals with aches and pains, you guys, I know I've talked about this. I'm, I truly have a nail appointment tomorrow. I booked it. Right. My niece right. came. She's four, she's three and a half. She painted my nails. Okay, so excuse the hands. Um, okay, so anyways, if you have joint discomfort, like in your hands or in your elbows, tennis elbow, you know, those kinds of things, you can simply apply this. It can definitely be use, be useful for you if it's more long-term. Okay, so uh, about the traveling, uh, about deep blue, this is a common question that we get all the time. It is deep blue, will they take it in your carry-on? And And... I still don't know. Sometimes they take it, sometimes they don't. I, if you can put it in one of those smaller, uh, travel size liquid things and. Or just like a plastic Ziploc. If you travel with deep blue rub and you have an answer to if TSA in the US is cool with you carrying it. Oh yeah, them, please let us know. Let us know. Please let us know. Comment. So, I mean, because they've taken it. They've taken a full bottle. One before. time out of like all the time we've Yeah, done. so if you can tell me, cite me the exact rule that says they can't take it, I would like that and I would I don't know wrap that around my deep blue. Yeah. Okay, so the next topic is tips for staying youthful physically, right? right. right? Like I I really believe that a big, a big marker for our age. It's actually not our numerical age. It's our physical wellness, our physical well-being. How capable are you of getting out and going on walks or getting on a spin bike or being able to reach down and pick up your laundry off the floor? Like those are the things that are good, good indicators about your real physical wellness. So Evan is going to share some of his favorite things that he's done to help stay youthful physically. Youthful physically. So one thing that, one thing that we do <laughs> to stay youthful physically is we, I, I ingest the essential oils. We drink, uh, we drink the lemon here. 24 Le- 7, this guy. We drink, is we drink the lemon every, every morning, all day. When, whenever we drink water, we drink some sort of citrus oil. It could be lemon, orange, grapefruit, lime. Tangerine. Tangerine. Whatever kind of citrus oil that you, that you like or whatever. I mean, for me, it's whatever is closest by because we have oils all around our whole house. Um, and again, I have this in my cup holder also. And my, my, my car is, is like a essential oil bag, right? It just like holds all my stuff. So Good thing because he keeps his dirty jujitsu bees in there all day. Right, right. So to counteract the smell of jujitsu, I have the essential oils and it's a side benefit of essential oils. <laughs> So we have the essential oils. So drink oils. this because you guys, citrus is naturally anti-aging. It helps your liver replenish glutathione, which is your body's most powerful antioxidant. So it protects against free radical agents that will cause aging. Okay. So citrus is so cheap. Like a wholesale bottle of lemon oil is $10 and there's 250 drops in here. And you just need one drop per eight to 10 ounces of water and just do it every time you fill up your water. Right, yeah. right, right. So another place you could keep six so well just right near your water dispenser or water or sink or something like that. So we have that. We also have the frankincense that this is the secret sauce that sure. we hold right next to maybe our, our hot water heater. Yeah, uh, our hot water uh, boiler. Hot water boiler, right? Yeah. So it boils the hot water at nighttime. Well, so in the morning, I drink lemon and frankincense in hot water. Right or even with lukewarm water just to get it down quickly because I'm I'm super thirsty first thing in the morning. But then also at nighttime we could drink. Well, we're talking about rest a little later, but we drink the lavender and I I add frankincense just because I'm always trying to do whatever I can to keep my brain sharp, Mm. right? Or or to resharpen it or whatever that means, right? Because I mean I boxed a lot in my life. I can't count how many thousands of times I've been punched in the head or, I mean, I've, I've been knocked out cold twice and, and some, some concussions where I didn't go to sleep, but I, but still, uh, I forgot where my car was, forgot where she was. And you don't have to have had, you know, brain trauma to experience the benefit of frankincense internally. So 
Um, that in your water in the afternoon is fantastic, especially before a workout. You can do a drop of frankincense, a drop of lemon, or like frankincense and wild orange is really yummy together. Right. You could do that combo to help naturally wake you up and avoid that second cup of coffee. Or for some of us, that would be like my third or fourth cup of coffee because <laughs> right. you really don't want to do coffee in the afternoon. Right. Um, so you could get that natural pick me up. Like the frankincense is going to help to draw, help you to breathe better. It's going to draw more oxygen into your brain. It's going to help, um, help nourish your brain tissue so you can think better. All those things that, that caffeine helps to do, this right. can actually, that combination can do as well, but without the caffeine. Um, so another thing I do with the frankincense in the morning, if, I, if I'm rushing or like she said in the afternoon, so you don't hit that second cup of coffee or the, the late afternoon coffee is I put a couple of drops underneath my tongue and just let it sit in because it, I feel like it sits straight into the brain. I just go here. Yeah, I'll have some too. So if you're somebody that doesn't like trust yourself to count, you can actually, in, in chiropractic school, we talk about the snuff box. Isn't that terrible? The snuff box. You guys know what that refers to, right? Not that anybody is using that for anything, but you can actually use the snuff box for your frankincense drops. You can do two drops of that. And, and I like the taste. It's definitely acquired, but it's fantastic for waking up your mind. Hey, hey, if you're just popping in, right. say hello. Nice. Um, Heart, Heart Glow Creative says, wild orange for a change up of the lemon. Totally. Absolutely love it. Right. If you love citrus oils, tell me what your favorite citrus oil is. We want to hear from you. Have you comboed citrus oil with frankincense? Because it is like, it is, it is honestly like a useful elixir. It's fantastic. Um, okay. Also, another tip for staying useful and keeping your joints and your body really physically, um, strong and really capable of handling stress is the lifelong vitality pack. So if you're somebody that's working out and looking to optimize recovery, you know what? Before you go to the store and buy protein, before you do that, get this. Because I'll tell you what people are missing when they're buying protein is take a step back and evaluate what are your nutritional foundations like? What's your vitamin and mineral content like? What's your essential fatty acid content like? Those are literally the building blocks that your muscles require to rebuild after a workout. <laughs> the biggest mistake that people make nowadays is they're under so much stress and they hit the gym because they want to lose weight, but they haven't taken the time to nourish their body correctly. So if you're not getting in 10 to 12 servings of fruits and vegetables per day, you're vitamin and mineral deficient. Your body's capacity to break down muscle in that workout and then rebuild it is way diminished. So what a lot of people do after end up with after a workout is really broken down tissue without the capacity to rebuild it. So they don't end up getting stronger. They just end up really breaking down muscle tissue and that's not good. So you can easily remedy that. Your body is so intelligent. It just needs vitamins and minerals. And then there is like a little secret, I think doTERRA's like most brilliantly formulated thing they've ever done. I mean, obviously the oils are freaking fantastic, but outside of the oils, the Alpha CRS is insane. Like I, as a natural medicine practitioner, I go to, I go to, you know, a lot of different seminars. Basically this alpha CRS is like five or six of some pretty high herbal, high quality, very expensive herbal products in the alpha CRS to tame inflammation, support your cells and being able to produce proper amounts of energy and also really just make you feel good. Like when I take my vitamin pack, my hair grows better. My skin is clearer. I have more energy. I recover so much faster from my workouts. Like I'm somebody that gets sick if I don't take my vitamins after I work out. I mean, I just always had a really bad immune system. And so when I support my body, like it's meant to be supported, my fitness is better and I feel better. So those are our tips for staying useful physically. Just to review, we talked about frankincense, lemon, or any, or any citrus oil, any citrus oil, vitamins, and then, lifelong vitality pack. Yes. yes, lifelong vitality pack. Yeah, we've got lots of people loving, loving the vitamins. Hey, Vetiver says LLB is a game changer. She has more energy and feeling better. Her name awesome. Is Kate Vetiver? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And then Angel shared that she's in grad school and it's really helped her focus in class. Girl, that's so freaking awesome. Right. Yeah, like I think a lot of us aren't even taking into consideration that are everything in the body, like even your neural activity, your brain activity requires vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, bathe your brain. They make up your brain, right? All those things are super important. Um, okay. And then for joints so far, we've talked about deep blue and frankincense. Let's talk about recovery. So you've gone to the gym 
your mm-hmm. after the gym in order to oh, yeah. avoid soreness because that kind of yeah, sucks, right? Yeah. yeah. So my my gym closes at eight thirty p.m. I get home around like nine thirty p.m. I I work out multiple times throughout the day, and right at nine thirty p.m. the my my total priority is to rest and recover as much as possible before I wake up super early in the morning and do it all over again, right? And without that without that time of of total rest and darkness at nighttime, the next day will not be as good. So some of the things we do is right when I walk in the door, just like right when I walk out of the door, I drink the lemon and the frankincense in the water. Right when I walk into the door, I drink the lavender and for me it's just lukewarm water just so I can so I can shoot it down as quickly as possible. And then a little bit later on in the night, we put the hot water heater on the hot water boiler or whatever it is. It makes hot water. We put a couple drops of lavender in our uh, our coffee mugs or whatever, and we put some uh, honey in there. So it's just honey and lavender in, in like a nighttime tea. Yeah, so honey, hot water, and drop of lavender is great for kind of calming your body down, getting it into that rest and recovery phase that it wants to be in when it's time for bed. And then Aroma Touch, you guys, especially if you are have a job that you're on your feet all day, Aroma Touch on your feet is freaking amazing. Or yeah. if you have time, you could do a couple of drops of Aroma Touch oil, a cup of Epsom salt, and a like a quarter of a cup of, well, you could do less than, actually a tablespoon of baking soda in your tub. So that combination is so fabulous in the bath. Mm -hmm. Um, So you would do three, you could do like three to four drops of Aroma Touch, or if you wanted to combo these up, you could do like two to three drops each in your bathtub. Lavender and Aroma Touch, Mm -hmm. phenomenal. Like you'll feel, you just feel amazing, especially if it's after a workout. So So that's one thing I was going to talk about with the deep blue. If you're on your feet all day, putting deep blue on the bottom of your feet at the end of the day is nice. But for some people, the deep blue kind of wakes them up and invigorates them because of of the peppermint. Yeah. And well, there's so it's less peppermint in. in Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So if you're to do the same thing, you can put if you're on your feet, like my wife said, you can put aroma touch. But for any husband out there who. At the end of the night, you're tired and you don't want to rub your your wife's feet. You can put the Roma Touch on your wife's feet, and this is this is a shortcut. This is <laughs> foot rubbing in a bottle. One drop, put it on your wife's feet, and like you this. no longer have That's to rub it. her feet anymore. Right? I don't know about that. You don't always get away with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes. So. And then if you don't have anyone to rub your feet, a Roma Touch will rub your feet for you. So just put that on the bottom of your feet and you will feel much better. It's just the difference between the two, between the aroma, both are great for muscle support, deep blue and aroma touch. What Evan was saying is yes, the deep blue can be a little bit more stimulation for people right. at night because there's more peppermint in it. But the real difference here is that this is more anti-pain deep blue. Um, it's more soothing for real discomfort. Whereas the aroma touch has oils that are more relaxing for muscles. Right. So there's lavender and marjoram and chamomile and, um, and there's peppermint in here, but much less peppermint. There's a basil in here. Oh, I'm sorry. There's no chamomile. It's basil and cypress. So it's really great for help promoting, you know, relaxation, but also making sure blood flow is happening so that you don't have too much blood pooling in the areas that you just worked out because that can lead to, well, if that doesn't get moved out, you end up getting DOMS, which is delayed onset muscle soreness. Not cool. Okay. So those are, you guys, those are our tips for muscle soreness. Let's get into weight loss because I know that's a hot topic. Um, here's the thing about weight loss. There's a lot of things that can contribute to it. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about the basics in terms of supporting your body's metabolism naturally. Um, is that okay? Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do this in just a few minutes because I have soup on the stove. Okay, so for weight loss, there's two items I'm going to talk about today to keep it really simple. There's the vitamins. If you've taken the vitamins, LLV, and noticed weight loss, go ahead and pop a one in the comment section. Like, I can't even tell you how many people I've met Simply by taking the vitamins, their bodies start to shed weight. I just talked to somebody last week, like a couple days ago, she was sharing she's been taking the vitamins, not doing anything different. Awesome, hey, Vetiver, thanks for sharing. She hasn't done anything different, this girl, and it's not hey, Vetiver, it's somebody else. She's lost 12 pounds in a month. And do you know why? 
Because if your body is not being supported properly with vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, anti-inflammatories, your metabolism slows down. Everything slows down, including your fat burning capacity. Okay, and so if your detox slows down, hey Trisha, if your detox slows down, guess what? Those toxins, they go and get stored in your fat tissue, and now it's more difficult to lose the weight. And so why not just support it all with a simple vitamin pack? Simple, simple, simple. Take two of each morning, two of each in the evening. And then the last piece, um, the second piece I'll talk about for weight loss is Slim and Sassy. Now we already remember, we already talked about the value of citrus. There is citrus in here. There's a combination of wild orange and tangerine, I believe. Wild orange and tangerine. Lemon, oh, sorry, grapefruit and lemon. So the citrus oils help to flush your body of toxins. Also, you guys, grapefruit helps to release water weight. We'll do our own, we'll do a whole Insta story. We'll do a whole Facebook Live on just weight loss. And this is the basics. Also, another element of weight loss is, is blood sugar. There's cinnamon oil in Slim and Sassy. Cinnamon oil helps your body to have healthy responses to glucose in, to glucose release in the system. So as you're eating your food, you're breaking that down, glucose gets released into the bloodstream. You want to make sure that those ins, those um, you want to make sure that your body releases enough insulin to go ahead, trap that glucose, and you want to make sure that your cells are responsive to the insulin. What happens if you aren't and you have too much glucose floating through the body? Now you're now you are going to store fat. So, um, yeah, okay, hey, BMPED, I actually have a thyroid um, Insta story saved in my Facebook page, on my Instagram page. So go ahead over there. There's actually a thyroid essentials Insta story that you can access with all my thyroid tips, okay? And um, we'll do a weight loss one as well. Um, so there's cinnamon sassy, there's oil, cinnamon oil in here. The best way to do this is, yes, you can drink it, but my... Hot tip is to put this on after you've been gotten out of the shower with coconut oil, like a tablespoon of coconut oil to one to two drops of slim and sassy, and apply it over your trouble areas. Now it's summertime, so I want to say all citrus oils can you cannot apply them on the skin and then go out into the sun. They're photosensitive. They're photosensitive. So if you're going to be in a bikini that day, you can do this protocol at night. Okay. You can do it with this, this lemon sassy and the coconut oil over your cellulite. It'll actually help to reduce the appearance of cellulite because toxins get stored in fat and the presence of those toxins makes the, helps to mold the, the, the appearance of cellulite. So the citrus oils go in, help to eat up some of those toxins, help the grapefruit oil helps the body to then release the water that was building up in and around the fat cell as a result of the toxins being present. And now your body actually wants to shrink the fat cell. It's phenomenal. It makes so much sense if you're looking at weight loss from a functional medicine perspective. It makes so much sense. And then another tip is if you're applying the oil and you want to ingest it but you don't love the taste, some people love the taste, some people don't, you can actually combo it up with any other citrus oil to make the Slim and Sassy taste a little bit more citrusy and not so cinnamony. All right, so those are our hot tips. If you have questions because you've caught the recording, go ahead and pop them in the comment section. We will be checking the threads on all these recordings making sure that you guys feel well supported. And again, Evan's going to be in Cebu, uh, Cebu and Manila this coming weekend and next week. Cebu on May 27th, 28th, and in Manila on May 29th, 30th, 31st, and June 1st for a, a little bit. I'm, I'm getting on a plane on June 1st, so don't wait till June 1st to, to come see me in Manila. Please come to any of our events. Um, they're free. They're, they're we just awesome. ask that you RSVP. Yeah. Because we'll have welcome guests for We have welcome guests. We'll be sharing oils. We'll be getting oils on you. Um, you can even get in your started. mouth, in your like in your nose. We we'll, we'll put them. We we'll put them over there, and, yeah. and it's going to be awesome. And we're going to have products there for people to be able to, to if they want to get started. We're going to bring kits to the Philippines, so they can. You guys can go ahead. But and a limited them. supply because I mean because the weight restriction, right? I can't just bring and customs, right? Uh, hundred hundred million kits, right? So I'm only we I'm have actually, eight kits. That's we're it. bringing eight kits, yeah. and they could be sold the first day. Um, so. We have two gone. We have quickly. eight left. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I mean, if you want, if you want one of those kids, I mean, pay. F- you can go ahead and get them in advance, advance, or just come and experience it. We are shipping to the Philippines. If you're on our team, we're we actually are covering the cost of shipping to the Philippines through the end of the year. So if you aren't already enrolled with people and you're in the Philippines and you want to get your hands on the oils wholesale, 
we are certainly the people to chat with because we are committed to serving you guys over there. Yeah, so I mean, we have a growing team in the Philippines. We're going to the Philippines one week out of every month. So uh, you will be well supported. Please yeah. come out. We're so see. excited to be there with you guys. Right. Awesome. Post your questions in the comment section. Lots of love to you. Have a great right. evening. Bye. 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 Support your body and your physical wellness. And then the one in the back, too. Hang on. Bye, guys.